Megan, did your power come back on? It did. Good morning, yeah. everybody. Uh -huh. Yes, the power is back on. Thank the Lord. Came on yesterday. <laughs> Since Thursday, we've been Little House on the Prairie in it. And Aww. it's we survived. It's totally fun. So welcome, welcome, everybody. So glad you guys could hop on. I know there'll be more hopping on. I'm going to actually change the view here. I'm sorry that I need sunglasses and a shade on my window, <laughs> but it's okay. Totally fine. I wanted to welcome you guys to Meg's Monday Momentum Call. I am going to be sharing my brain space on Operation Emerald so you guys can translate it into what your goal is for the month. Okay, so I'm going to be giving you ideas. I'm going to be giving you verbiage. I'm going to be chunking down the month by, um, well, into thirds. So we have the first 10 days, the second 10 days, the third 10 days. And so my brain works uh, in a more systematic way. And I know there's, I just want to remind everybody that there's certain months, <laughs> there's not, not every month is a push month. Not every month is a rank up month. Um, I know for me personally, every month that I have ranked up has not come by default or by osmosis, or just like I wake up on the last day of the month and be like, oh, I ranked. <laughs> that has not been my experience. Every one of my ranks has been a push <laughs> and it's, it's been worth it, but it has not happened without intentionality, focus, drive, commitment, and the willingness to invest and sacrifice at some level. So reminder, the month of July is significant. It is significant. And so I want to give you a couple of things. So if you don't have a pen and paper, I would I would grab one because I'm gonna give you a lot. And you're gonna, this, this may not be as power hour-y as Tuesday through Fridays, but I'm gonna give you kind of the marching orders and kind of bigger vision stuff and also things to go do when you have other pockets of work time today. <laughs> so uh, we are going to not take a break the first 10 days of the month. I know sometimes it's easy to do that because we come off end of month and we're like, oh, okay, now I got to clean my house or now I got to you know go do X, Y, Z. But we are going to put the pedal to the metal from the get-go. And I know it's already the third of the month. So um, that's really fine. We have a holiday tomorrow and we're going to work it. Okay. So in, the, in your holiday tomorrow, be talking to people. If you're around people, talking to people, networking, um, maybe bringing samples, like think through how you could be out of the box, maybe out of your comfort zone, right? Um, ugh, man, the light is crazy here. Um, but anyways, just wanted to remind everybody, motto for the month is simplify. As much as you can simplify in your life, okay? And I have been continually reminded of God's promises and the, the X factor, which is the word of God and having faith to believe for the impossible. Guys, I'm just going to remind you all uh, that there's sometimes things in our lives in certain seasons where things look impossible, but thankfully, like, we serve a God that it delights in impossibility in, or, in order to show us and teach us things, okay? And so <laughs> there's a part of me that's been wrestling like, huh, like, how is it going to happen? How is it going to work? Are the numbers going to make sense? And like, at the end of the day, that doesn't matter <laughs> because we, we know that the Lord can fill in the gaps for us. He can magnify the hours in their day. He, like, I have these scriptures right in front of me, literally on my wall in front that he gave me, 2 Peter 1, 3. 2 Corinthians 9, 8, you can write these references down. 2 Corinthians 12, 9, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Uh, there's another one in Psalms, I think it's 67, that talks about, I will go in the strength of the Lord and make mention of his name. Um, but wanted to uh, give everybody the encouragement and the challenge to do a proverb a day, okay? I think we could all say we could use more wisdom. And the scripture tells us if anyone lacks wisdom, to ask the Lord and he will give it to us and he won't reprimand us. Okay. So proverb a day is what I'm encouraging my family to do and our Plexus team and then anybody on social media. So it's something that you could actually put out there as an encouragement to other people in your networks if they want to join you in proverb of one proverb a day challenge. So we read with our boys this morning before they went to work Proverbs for, um, chapter three. So I also have a theme song, which I felt like was given to me. It's a very simple 
chorus. I don't even know where it came from. I just grew up singing it. We, I grew up in a home church and, you know, there's just lots of different choruses that I learned, but the words go, I'm not going to sing it for you guys, but the words go faith, mighty faith that promise takes and looks to God alone, laughs that impo- laughs at impossibility and shouts, it shall be done. And then it goes and shouts, it shall, it shall be done and shouts, it shall, it shall be done, laughs at impossibility and shouts, it shall be done. And so it's just interesting, right? When we set a goal, how there's encouragements that come in. I've had um, my sweet friend and runner, one runner, one of the runners on my reentry leg, um, Laura Koblenz has been affirming and encouraging even in this opposition. And so I mentioned to you guys on that first call that don't be, don't be surprised when stuff pops up. Okay. So here we are usually by day three, you're like, um, is it worth it? <laughs> guys, I've been without power. And because our well runs off of power, uh, without water also, we have been since Thursday. We host like BBS was all last week. It's been crazy craze, right? Uh, the power, thankfully, and the air conditioning, all the things came back on. Yes, lately yesterday afternoon, praise the Lord for that. Um, and then we headed to fireworks and our eight-year-old started throwing up in the van. We came back home and my two-year-old also started throwing up. So tis the oppositions, right? But we're going to move forward in spite of the oppositions, in spite of huh, any sort of crazy drama that might be happening. So I think it not strange if you start to have some crazy things happen, not that we're inviting it, but we are, I can, I can move a little bit so it's not so bright. Um, we can improvise, adapt, and overcome. I was reminded of a little quip my dad would say when things are not going the way we wanted them to go. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. So, okay, a couple of things. One um, biggie is print off your reports. If you've never exported reports to Excel, um, this is going to be for those of you who have a team. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of talking to those with an existing team. If you are brand, brand new, <laughs> the best thing that you can do for your business is to make a Frank's list of 100 people and start to contact those people and tell them, share plexus with them, okay? So friends, relatives, acquaintances, school connections, kid connections, all, all the people, okay? So that is going to be your work list. And then I would challenge you to go print off the My Messaging Handbook off of the Momentum Makers group. It's the like bottom, the first, very first file if you go and scroll that PDF file link, it's at the top of that group. And that will be your second resource to help you achieve success this month for your team. So the name of the game, if you're a brand new, is connect with people, share Plexus, and work off that um, verbiage example. That's what the My Messaging Handbook is. And it will also give you ideas for different demographics of people in your life, how to invite to events. Um, Thursday, we have the Real Income, Real Impact coming up. Sorry, Real People. No, no, no. That's sorry. That's the 13th. Um, the Real People, Real Stories is the 13th. But you can be starting to invite people to events that we have going on this month. Um, we'll have a team calendar pop up pretty soon for all of you. Um, okay, so those of you that have a team, an existing team, go print off your reports. You need to sort, sort by team points so you can see a report of everybody from the highest team points to the lowest. And um, the second report you need to get is sort by PV. So highest PV to lowest PV. And then probably in that report also, which is the third report, but this is, you can work off that same report, is a zero PV level one report. Or you could do your whole team if you have a smaller team, just so you can see everybody on your team that does not have an order, didn't have an order for June, okay? Now that June is over, we can go <laughs> utilize those reports. Okay, um, the second thing that you need to do is map out your office hours. Where in your day this week are your plexus, your protected plexus hours? <clears throat> if you don't, if you fail to plan, um, you know you're gonna have it's gonna be harder to get things done. And there's gonna be good things and essential things and random emergency feeling things that pop up that are prone to distract you from what you say you need to get done in your business. So just, I would encourage you to map that out. And then the third thing is meal plan. I don't know if y'all are meal planners, but I'm just sharing some of the things that help me run smoother. Meal plan, grocery shop, 
or send if you have people or a husband or somebody in your life that can grocery shop for you or you can do ordering your groceries online and just do pickup those are all things that are going to save you time so you can cut anywhere you can cut and <laughs> pull in more minutes for your Plexus business, that's what you're going to be doing this month. So you can be very focused. Um, some of you might have done freezer meals or maybe, you know, when you cook this week, you're gonna like make a second one so you can pop it in the freezer for a crazy night. And then the other thing <laughs> in line of house things is you might have to be willing to let things go. Certain things can wait till August. For me, that would be organizing through my house, getting all my school stuff planned and organized closets, some of those drawers and things that during the school year start to bug me, but I am pushing that off till August. <laughs> so um, the next thing is John Maxwell taught me do, delete, or delegate. Do, delete, or delegate. And so what in your life right now can you do? You can just take off the list and put it onto August maybe, or you can delegate. And that's, that's my biggie is delegating. And this all kind of also leads to that whole shareholders meeting reminder to have a little meeting with your people so that they know, hey, this month, mom or dad is going to be, you know, extra busy, extra preoccupied with business things. But here is the plan. Here is the goal. Uh, and also, like Eric Worry was saying in his video, like, who can take care of the laundry for you? Who can take care of, um, you know, meals or prepping or grocery shopping or just different logistical things? Maybe even running kids different places, right? So. You all have to think about what that looks like for your life. Okay, the next thing I wrote down is up-level marketing. Okay, what needs to improve? So my, my thought there is, let's get really, really intentional and good with our posting this month. Maybe more, maybe more posting. Some of, some of us need to increase the number of posts that we're doing. Um, some of you need to go evaluate your Facebook wall or have someone else look at it to give you honest feedback. Like, okay, over the last two weeks, do it, do it, audit yourself. How many business posts, how many product posts, and how many life posts? Some of y'all are posting way too much Plexus and you need to post more life. Okay. Some of you need to give yourself permission to do that. Um, add more value, do more live videos on non-Plexus related topics. Um, pop, you know, pop stuff that you really think is cool in your stories. Okay. But maybe keep your Facebook wall cleaner, Instagram or whatever. Um, and then also I wanted to challenge everybody with this, including myself, go public with your goal. <laughs> if you need an idea, go to Emily Roberts wall and Trisha Riegers or their Instagram or Facebook, whatever they put out publicly that they were starting a third plexus business. Okay. So don't be afraid to publicly de declare your goal, whatever that is, and why, which also brings me to that. Why are you going for your goal? Okay, it's really important to talk about and think through why is this goal important to you? What are you going for? Okay, and just, I wrote down a couple of takeaways from Eric, which is um, to talk through the why, make sure you're super crystal clear on that, and then the win. And he said, yeah, tell the world, <laughs> you have to decide and make a deadline. Okay. And that's what, that's what we did right earlier in the month of June. We decided, <laughs> some of you maybe are just now deciding, which is totally fine, deciding, and then you're putting a deadline on it. Okay. And then he said, commit, <laughs> you're, you're committing to the totally unreasonable. And that's, that's how I feel, but we're, we're determined to sacrifice that for the next 30 days because all in life is a trade-off, right? And so there are moments in our business, there's moments or seasons in our business where we're laser, laser focused, right? We're working to eliminate distractions. And so in sharpening our skills, and he, he talked about this, how we can get good fast by setting this intention, setting the goal, making the commitment, and then following through with that with action. <clears throat> okay. Um, the next thing I wrote down is, that I am doing is exercising. <laughs> Guys, there is something that parallels in the physical, the physical aspect of like committing to exercise and going for a goal. It helps up level everything. And, and I don't know what it is. It was, I was actually talking to Laura again the other day and she was verbalizing the same thing. I was like, that's so interesting. I actually had that written down to share on the call on Monday. And then Justin was telling the kids that they're working, 
they're working out of the home, they're working in the home, and they're working out. He's like, we've got to, we've got to up level our discipline here around here. And so we are making our kids do it also. But exercising. So I started running again. <laughs> there are spiritual and physical wins that I achieve when I am mentally and physically at the top of my game. And running, for me personally, running helps me do that. And I'm not saying I go run a marathon every day. It's like a mile or two, maybe, or it's a walk run type of thing where I'm kind of interval training, but the physical push of running makes me better in other areas. And also the efficiency of, <laughs> of running specifically for exercise gets done faster. And I, and I really appreciate the high after, after it. So anyways, was just going to share those kind of, um, miscellaneous things that are contributing to my personal goal. Okay. So take these things and you'll have to obviously apply them to your life. <laughs> However that looks, I'm not saying you have to go do this exactly how I'm doing it. I'm just saying these are some things that I am doing to help me achieve my goal. Okay. So strategy, the strategy is the first 10 days, the second 10 days, the third 10 days, we're going to chunk the month down into thirds. So if you haven't already visually put stuff on your calendar, that's your job for today. Okay. And I even like made little marks on my calendar so I can like really, really be intentional with every single day of the month and uh, mapping out the month into thirds. It helps my brain and it gives me a focus for what we are doing for each chunk. <laughs> so, um, okay, the first 10 days. So I'm going to kind of plexify the Eric Worre video. I know some people can be <laughs> like, Huh? the thing that they heard out of that video was, oh, you need to be working 12 to 16 hours a day. Okay. Can we just all say, I would say most of us have other jobs. We're moms, grandmas, dads have life stuff going on ministry. Like I, my month of July actually has a lot going on. Okay. And so I just want to remind everybody that you can be efficient in the time that you have. And so don't let that number of hours freak you out. <laughs> okay, we're going to work on the, the actual activity and action versus um, the <laughs> trying to log the hours. And I think he was also talking about people that were brand new to network marketing. So if you're brand new to network marketing, you're going to have more to learn. It's going to take you longer to do certain tasks than those of you have been in this business for five or six years. Y'all already probably know the drill and have done the drill, but it's this, um, maybe your, your actual action level of logging those specific actions, <laughs> maybe not up to par of what it could be, right? And so I think you guys can be efficient in the things in your work time and get more done in less time. <laughs> so, and we have the Lord, which is going to, he's going to help us magnify the hours in our day, Right and help us get things done. Okay, so the first 10 days is we're going to be inviting, contacting, presenting, uh, doing live events. Maybe he, Eric talked about blitz days, which I think that could look different ways for different ones of you. Um, business calls, three-way phone calls, meetings, and online events, okay? So the first 10 days is like, we're going to seed. <laughs> we're gonna seed in the first 10 days. and have this on your calendar, W-I-T, whatever it takes. Okay. So you're going to front load your month, which I think is a little counter counterintuitive to us, us plexus people who have been around. Sometimes we feel like we're reeling from the month before. And so I want to just verbalize that I'm not taking a break. The first couple of days of the month, I am actually going to put the pedal to the middle and schedule events and do calls and show up at people's houses if they're willing to let me host a sip and see for them. Um, the other thing that I'm going to do is um, have bold, beautiful business posts. What did I say? Big, oh, big, bold, beautiful business posts. Okay. So you're, uh, you're, that goes back to the up-leveling and marketing, but making sure that what you're putting out there what you want to receive more of, which is more business builders. Okay. And then also, um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, making sure that every single new level one is on, or maybe even level twos, if I'm helping them sign up, is they're on the phone with me and I'm talking about the business with them. And I am vision casting and saying, hey, 
I am helping and I don't do this normally, but I was thinking, okay, what if I got really, really bold with every single person that I signed as a level one and said, Hey, my goal this month is just not usually my goal, but it is my goal this month is to help you help three friends. <laughs> so who do you know? Who do you know? <laughs> and so having that, it's starting that conversation. And so um, I'm going to show you something that I am doing and that I just started. Okay. So I'm going to show you my board. <laughs> I'm a visual person and I like writing things down. So what I did, which Abigail <laughs> made some pretty, pretty uh, artwork for me, but I, at the top of my board, just put Operation Emerald and I'm doing a 20 countdown. Okay. So I know Eric talked about recruiting 20 in 30 days. So some of you new people, that needs to be your goal. <laughs> okay. Because you don't have a team yet and you're just going to go recruit as many people as possible. You're going to try to bring in a whole new, you're going to plant a, a big garden this month. You're going to have a lot of conversations, a lot of presentations, a lot of online events. If you don't know how to do those, you're going to learn how to do them. Your sponsors have the, the templates for those. Um, you may have a sponsor that was willing to do the first one with you, and then you're going to start doing them on your own. Okay. <laughs> and presenting yourself. If you've never done a sip and see, you're going to go do a sip and see in the first 10 days of the month. It may be something that you just do from your house. You don't have a team yet. You're, you know, you're not doing them for other people, but you're going to go learn and do it. Okay. There's a video that I made for the, the May, what is that? The, the uh, one a day in May video series. I had a rather long explanation video of how to do a sip and see, you know, search it on the team page. Okay. You will not die. You'll learn new skills. Uh, it's fun. You learn as you go. And then after you do that first event, you're going to pivot and learn and do the next one better than you did the before, right? Okay, so for those of you who have a larger team, like you have people that are currently ordering, you have customers, you have people that have fallen off the bandwagon, okay? The way my brain is working, because I've been like, ah, what is my strategy? How am I gonna do this thing? I'm gonna do a 20 countdown. When I get to 20, I'm gonna redo my board and do another 20, or actually I'll probably buy a new board so that I can see <laughs> my first 20 and my second 20. And this 20 is representative of 100 points, okay? Approximately 20 people, 20 orders translates into 100 points. And so we are going to be obsessed <laughs> with tracking numbers, tracking orders, uh, let's see, uh, making sure people's subscriptions are on, checking the decline subscriptions. We're going to be obsessed with helping and serving people this month, okay? So right off the bat, um, I was working all the way till the end of the month, and then uh, July 1st, I I worked all day. <laughs> I didn't have power, and I kept having to pop online with my hotspot, and it was kicking me off. It was crazy, but I got my friend Diane signed up with two triplexes. She and her hubby are going to do that. She, guys, like six years ago, seven years ago, we were selling chickens. We still sell meat chickens, but anyways, we were in Champagne dropping off chickens. And I, with fear and trepidation, gave her a triplex brochure. <laughs> I was so like embarrassed. Not, I don't know why I was embarrassed, but I was like, oh yeah. And by the way, like I'm selling these, you know, I'm sharing these supplements. They've helped me and here you go. And so she called me, she messaged me out of the blue. She's like, hey, Megan, um, I really need to talk to you about Plexus. So we set a phone call and we chatted on the phone the other day. And she's like, I've had so many people come to me about Plexus, but I'm coming back to you because you were the first person that shared it with me. So she's like 10 years older than my mom. Okay. She's a sparky person. We talked about signing her husband, hubby up to her, up under her in case maybe she would share with two more people. But she's like, mm, well, I don't know, just sign them up. You know, we'll just, you know, like make one big order. But I did put it on her brain, like the sharing thing. And she's sparky and I know she has a network. So I'm going to work with her and be like, Diane, let's, I would love to help you help three people. Like, can you find, like, I will chat with them. Who do you know <laughs> that I could help? Okay. Have those big, bold conversations. Okay. Because it's going to get duplication going and you can't just depend on your own recruitment. You need to have, you need to let other people help you <laughs> with your goal. Okay. And they may not even know they're helping you with a goal <laughs> and that's fine, but you're going to be intentional and focused and committed to helping 20 people. Okay. And those 20 don't have to just be your level ones. I would recommend that it's not just, I mean, obviously, well, Eric's concept is you bring 20 new level ones in. So eh, 
well, 20 new level ones is awesome, but you also have to be starting to think about like, who can you help as well as you're building a team, okay? So then I signed up charity or no, no, no. Then I signed up my midwife's um, assistant, which she's actually in residency for midwifery and is in a crazy season. And so we've connected. I was at a home birth of my friends last August and connected with Tiffany. And then we've been just friends on Instagram ever since, just like, you know, connecting with her stories and, you know, her end of residency midwifery stuff. And so she messaged me, she's like, hey, I think I need the pink drink that you're talking about. So we had, we hopped, did we hop on the phone? We didn't hop on the phone, but I was chatting with her. Um, her husband was a lineman and trying to get all this power back on. So she was like, hey, yeah, if you can help me with your my order, that'd be so great. And so we got her going on the triplex, okay? So then my friend Megan, who I have, she signed up two months ago. Actually, I think she signed up during the Ruby retreat. And so she's out in California. I actually have never met her, but she got her first person to say, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready to order. And so she, her girl was in our little event from Friday night and Charity told me that she wanted to order three triplexes. <laughs> and so I said, okay, well, let me let me just call you. It's going to be easier. So do not be afraid of the phone. So I'm kind of teaching you as like, I'm teaching you what I'm doing and what I have done so far this month in order to help people and serve people. And so part of me could have said, well, it's Megan's job to go talk with her person. Um, you know, she can talk to charity and go sign up your people and, you know, have fun. <laughs> but instead I took the time to help the level two, oops, I can't see it. You're not seeing my thing here. I took the time, which was probably an hour, maybe, maybe more on the phone with charity. And we talked through, you know, their health goals, kind of what they're, what they're working on. And, uh, they're, and she, and she was talking to me about, um, well, I, I want to order it for my hubby. I want to order it for my daughter. And I said, well, we could sign up your hubby under you if you think that it would be fairly easy for you to, you know, help two more people. And she's like, well, I can sign my daughter because she's 18. I was like, oh, okay. Well, then you just need one more person and to, you know, to get in on those faster bonuses. And she, so we talked about that. Um, I also ended up sharing our story and kind of vision casted, hopefully for her, what the opportunity could be for them if that's something um so I got to hear more of her story got to learn a little bit about her and so don't be afraid of the phone don't be afraid of expending more energy and more time with people because I think that is really where we're going to be able to help more people because they're going to catch a vision for something more <laughs> okay and so what I have done is made a board of uh, four levels of five or four lines of five lines so that this is representing 20 and who's who's going to go on my board <laughs> anybody that i sign up as a level one any person that i sign up that's helping like a level one help one or two or three right to help people um get duplication going right i'm also going to include anybody that is re-engaging from the month before so zero pv people and also people with partial PV. Okay, so do not neglect the people you already have on your team. Okay, and that's going to be part of those of you who have a team, part of your work in the first 10 days. Okay, this is where your work <laughs> later on today when you have time and after you print your reports. Because it's it's very, very important that we're also taking care of the people we already have. Okay, so spend time in your back office. This is not, <laughs> this is not a big black hole that we're going to avoid. We're going to actually go look and it's going to give us our checky list of who we need to be contacting. And you're going to be talking to a lot of people this month. You're going to be on the phone more than you've ever been on the phone. You're going to be sending more, more voice messages, more project podcasts, more Facebook messages and texts than you ever have done before. Okay. But this is how we make things happen. So <clears throat> what I want you guys to do, two things. I'm going to tell you really fast, um, two of my strategies. Okay. So here is... Strategy number one, we are inviting people to the reset challenge that we're doing as a team, the 12th through the 14th of July. Okay, I'm going to give you some top secret insider info if you're on this call because you're business builders and I know you can keep things confidential and do not post this on Facebook yet or <laughs> we will be in big trouble, but keep this in your memory bank and in mind for promotion come what is today? Is it the third? 
Oh, wait. No, it comes out today. Okay. Did I say the third through the fifth? Yeah. Okay. So today, at some point, this is going to drop. And so I want you to get into Messenger. I want you to utilize these the corporate specials that they give us so that we can grow our teams, grow our points, serve more people, and help more people try this reset. Okay. So the reset is going to be discounted from $129 down to 89. So like a $40 discount, which is ginormous. Okay. But keep in mind that the PV, <clears throat> the PV is also lower. So we're not just trying to sign up these one hit wonder reset triers, <laughs> product testers. We are going to be having them add that on to triplex or whatever their existing order is. Those partial PVers, do the math. Make sure that if they add the reset onto whatever subscription they currently have, that's maybe less than 100 PV, that it's at least hitting that 100 PV mark because you want to maximize points this month. Yes, we get paid on PV amounts that are less than 100, but we want to be maximizing that. So seeing how we can serve people with their health goals and getting them to try the reset this month with us for that challenge on the 12th, which means we are going to have a lot of conversations with people. <laughs> All right. And so right now I'm talking about existing team to maximize in the first 10 days, the amount of subscriptions, the amount of orders on the front end of the month. Wait, instead of waiting to the last day <laughs> to scramble and go crazy trying to get all these orders in. So we're <laughs> intentionally working now to help that. Okay. So what I want you guys to do is write down this verbiage. Okay. And obviously you're going to tweak this because you know, these people, these are level ones, these are customers and you're going to see how best to serve them. Okay. So we're going to invite them to this challenge that we're doing as a team. So I would just put out a little teaser. Okay. You know, and maybe, Hey Jenny, or good morning, Jenny, super curious. Would you be game for being a product tester for me this month? Okay. That's option verbiage number one. Would you be game for being a little product tester for me this month? Curious. Just put it out there. Doesn't have to have this long explanation of what you're doing. You're just asking, okay? The other way to ask is, hey, are you open? That's another little phrase that you could use. I like using that. Hey, um, are you open? Or what are your thoughts about being a product tester for Reset this month and giving me your honest feedback? Okay, now here's the deal. I was just talking to the jewels, and so we've all uh, decided, we've all, as a, as a group, decided we are going to do a cash pot giveaway, okay? We will be coming out with like all the details here in a little bit on what that looks like specifically, but where you'll be able to offer a giveaway, uh, a cash pot drawing giveaway prize, okay? So it'll be something like, um, hey, what are your thoughts about being a product tester for Reset? this month and giving me your honest feedback. Like, I would love to hear your product, like what your product experience is on that particular combo or that particular, uh, the three day fast. We are doing a, whatever, we'll say $50. It's gonna be more than $50, but we're gonna do a $50 cash pot giveaway prize for anybody that's game. What are your thoughts? Okay, just something simple, blitzy like that. Okay, so those are a couple different options for, how to say it, obviously take your own intuition and craft your message, but short and sweet is good. And also sharing what's in it for them. <laughs> so they were, they're going to basically doing us a favor by being a little product tester and giving us their feedback on it. It's going to help them with their health goals because everybody was, is going to benefit from doing a three-day supported fast. And also they're going to get their name put in the hat for the cash pot, which it'll be more than 50 bucks, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but we did a $50 cash pot when I went diamond the first 10 days of the month. And so I was kind of just recycling that same strategy. So, okay, dun, dun, dun. The next strategy, this is what I have been doing the last two weeks of June is going through a vetted zero PV list. And what I am looking for is restarts. My goal is <laughs> getting those people restarted. But what I offered them to my goal is to elicit a response, elicit a yes is, hey, I would love to send you a free sample of our new hydrate flavor. Would you be game? Okay, just something super simple. I can put these verbiages in the chat so you guys all have them for what I have said. Okay, so I have a running list of people that said yes, 
and I have ongoing conversations with those people. And so my purpose, my goal is to, yes, give them a little reward, give them a little thank you for their pat previous orders, but also hopefully get them loving the new hydrate. And then also I'm going to encourage them to add sleep onto their existing subscription or the one that we're going to set up at the beginning of July. Okay. So don't um, forget to have ongoing conversation. If you try this strategy and you're going to offer a free sample of hydrate, then you have your list of yeses. And then don't, uh, let's see, they will get, let's see. Da, da, da. Oh yeah. I might offer them a discount on renewing their subscription. <laughs> I might sweeten it a little bit for some of those people, but that's the cool thing about working this business. You can sweeten the deal for them however you want. Okay. But there is, a, I can't remember the exact special. I'd have to look it up. Um, does anyone remember this, this special on sleep? If they add it to their subscription this month. Double perks. It's double perks. I think double perks. Yes, yes, yes. Which also gives us an opportunity to talk about what perks are with our new people. Okay. So that is my strategy with those zero PBRs. <clears throat> and I'm going to be working the 10 first 10 day of the, days of the month to get them restarted on their triplex. Maybe they're going to do the reset challenge with us. Okay. So it's, these are just ideas to really maximize these first 10 days of the month. Okay. The next thing I wrote down, which I kind of already talked about, but first 10 days is inviting to events. So events, 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 stack your calendar in the first 10 days. Okay. And the, one of the thoughts I had is going to local potentials and local product users and saying, Hey, if I hosted a little pop-up sip and see, would you pop over and just like put it out there? Okay. So I think it gives opportunity then for more conversation of like, um, oh yeah, actually I would love to, or, and, and then also maybe will help me figure out a date if I can say, well, Hey, which is better, you know, Saturday morning at 10, or do you prefer like Thursday at six, <laughs> which maybe we'll do two options, or maybe I'll do both in-person things, or maybe I'll do one online and one in person or something like that. Okay. Um, those of you who have team, you need to go have conversations with those people and find out who wants to rank up with you this month. Okay, so tap into your team. That's also a strategy for the first 10 days of the month is find out what your people's goals are, okay? <clears throat> and help them map out what their next rank up looks like, okay? If people don't know network marketing verbiage like, oh, go silver. Oh, let's get you fast start senior silver. Or, hey, do you want to go gold this month? <laughs> I mean, you can throw it out there as a teaser, but then you need to also help them know how many people gold is and then help them do events, help them do, you know, some help them make a post, right? So going back to some of those baby steps, but walking with those people to help them with that. Okay. Any questions popping up? Let's see what was popping in the chat. Yes, Angie has a really good idea. Help your people, help your people help a friend, bless a friend. You could frame it different ways. I know Genevieve talks about um, the, the whole concept of individual business units. That's not the actual word she used for that. Do you guys remember what she, she called those? Um, look really fast. Um, profit centers, individual profit centers. And so helping people help one is what you want. You want more people sharing. Okay. Yes. We're, we're going to be thankful for those people that can bring in five new people a month or 10 people or more. Right. But also helping the one person help their mom or helping the one person sign up their hubby and their daughter. Right. And then once they have two, then it's, it's pretty easy to be like, Hey, you know, 300 bucks is on the line. Uh, what if I helped you sign more? What if I helped you help one more person? Right. And even, yeah, the concept of you and your hubby, you and your bestie, you and your mom. Mm -hmm. um, double perk points. Look in the email. I know that there's um, a whole bunch of graphics 
on it will actually on the jewels page and the diamond page we'll make sure those graphics are posted today so you guys can see <laughs> like what actually gets double perk points and all that good stuff actually i can snag it really fast let me let me snag it megan i'll go look for it don't don't take your time to do it i'll okay. figure it out thank you thank you all right we'll get those posted on the team page so you all know okay now just to talk really quickly about the second 10 days and the third 10 days of the month. Um, the second 10 days is where we're going to cultivate all the seeds that we planted in the first 10 days. Okay. So I would, I'm still going to be inviting, <laughs> contacting, presenting, doing events and things like that in my second chunk of 10 days, but it's going to be cultivating with as many people as possible. Right. So I'm going to be working on this list to get more names added to the board. This may be a zero PV person that I help get restarted. Maybe they are ready to put their subscription back on. Maybe it's a partial PV person that I help <laughs> put their subscription on for the reset plus the triplex or something, okay? As well as new people. So I know Jocelyn had this great idea and we will get the PDF popped into the threads, but she has a um, blessing list that I thought was such a great idea because where she's at in her business, she is using her own personal business intuition to decide what is best for her business this month. She has a ton going on. And so it's not necessarily a recruit 20 and 30 days for her personally, but she has this PDF of 20 and it's called her July blessing list. And so she's gonna work on helping 20 people this month, okay? For her personally, that's not necessarily 20 new people coming into her business, but that's similar to kind of what I'm doing where we're mapping out <laughs> the first hundred pay points, right? The second hundred pay points where we're gonna work through the 20. Okay, so, and as I'm talking, you guys, <clears throat> I'm gonna be encouraging you to be applying what I'm teaching you to your own personal business, whatever that looks like for you, okay? Whether you're brandy new or whether you've been around <laughs> for a long time and have a big team. Okay. So second 10 days is cultivating and doing a lot of follow-up, not being afraid of the phone, not being afraid of doing online events, even pop-up things, okay? Laura Koblenz and I did that pop-up event. I think most of you were in that. If you want added to it, we basically took Joanna's new messenger event content and hosted it in a Facebook group. I love Facebook groups because we can go live. We can share our stories live at the front, at the, in, at the, at the end, give a, a call to action. And then I just like the, the format of it, but I know a lot of people have great results with those messenger events also. But if you need fresh graphics or like a template to work from, feel free to request or ask me to send you the link for that so that you can duplicate it and do your own with, maybe you're hosting it for yourself or maybe like Laura and I did, we did that, we co-hosted it. So I had potentials in there, she had potentials in there. And I think actually there was different people that had, you know, a couple of potentials or new brand new people. And so these events that are focused on, you know, product and health testimonies are very, very, very good and important for your new people to be popping in because they're learning, they're hearing other testimonies, they're getting that third party validation about, you know, the products helping a lot of different people with a lot of different things. They're learning just the basics about what Plexus is, what the company is. And so, yes, we can get you guys added to that. And then it's also important to be offering to host those little online events after your people have like made their first post. If they've made their per first post, then your next your next ask is you're gonna work them through the PLP. If you don't want, know what the PLP is, go into the Momentum Makers group and type that in the search so that you can see the system for helping people help people, okay? So you're gonna help them make a post, help them make a list or go live and host a party for them, online event, okay? That's super important. It's really simple and will help your people help people, okay? And then the third 10 days, chunking it down, is closing. It's all about the harvest, okay? So we're going with the garden analogy. We're seeding the first 10 days, we're cultivating the second 10 days, and the third 10 days is that we are harvesting <laughs> all the fruits of our labor, okay? And the, the goal is to help close people and help them sign up, okay? And I just wrote down, all rank ups happening by like the 29th and 30th. Like let's get, let's push for those days so that then if we need a buffer, we have it and we're not scrambling last minute. I don't love last minute rank ups y'all. I like them to be on the early side so that they're done before the end of the month. And then we can celebrate. 
and enjoy that last day and help just create some buffer, some cushion, <laughs> go past the goal, right? Okay. Alrighty, are there any questions popping up for you guys? Uh, yes, thank you, Angie. Double perk credits on subscription orders of 100 PV or more that include Plexus Sleep. So yes, I'm going to be having conversations with people about adding in the sleep. It's only $24. This is not like super expensive. Um, or And or adding in the new hydrate just to try something new. Let me move this to gallery view. Okay. Any quick Any questions? Quick questions? Mm -hmm. the, excuse me. The PLP is post live party. 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 Okay. Yes. Yes. I listened to her say it, but <laughs> it's like. <laughs> if you want to go into the Momentum Makers group mm -hmm. and type it in the chat, if you want like more training or more like details on what to say, how to say that, okay. uh, for helping your people, it's in there. And there's actually a graphic for the PLP. I just love having systems. Isn't it easier, guys, if you have like a little checky list? So it's not like this nebulous, well, I don't know what to do with these new people. You do the PLP, <laughs> post live party. And that's the same thing for yourself. Like if you, if you ever feel stuck, make a post, go live, post a party. You can do a launch event for yourself anytime. You can do it in person. You can do it online. It's the best thing ever. Okay, so all of this, all these notes, all the things, you guys, I just like downloaded a lot of information to you. So now the temptation might be to feel paralyzed. <laughs> We're not going to feel paralyzed. We're going to do the next thing. Okay, so you're going to use your own business intuition to be like, okay, what, what all after all of this, what am I actually going to take action on? So I'm going to have you guys take a couple of minutes before we pop off and make a little hit list for yourself of top priority things, okay? I'm gonna mute for like three minutes, okay? And if anyone has a, a question, pop it in the chat and I will get to it. So I'm gonna set my timer for three minutes and you guys are going to <laughs> write down your top to-dos when we hop off here, whether you're able to work right after this call or you're gonna <laughs> go do breakfast with the kids or whatever you need to do. And then in your plexus work time later, hit that list, okay? So three minutes and go.
Okay, that was three minutes. <laughs> Hopefully got at least one thing written down to do, to go do. I just wanna um, reiterate the specials for July. So double perk credits all July long. If you include sleep in your subscription of 100 PV or more, there's also a refer and save. And so use that verbiage with your new people that there is a little referral program that if they refer a person, they get 250 perk credits. Okay, so this would be a VIP with a 100 PV order, like welcome pack, okay? So they get 250 perk credits. Also, so they're rewarding with perk credits this month, which is fun, so like with free products. And then enroll three new VIPs with a welcome pack and earn a Plexus crossbody bag. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Justin's always like, they need a man gift. You can get it, or earn it for your wife or your daughter. And then also don't forget, so, so there is free membership, which is awesome. So the give 10 membership, all caps, give, and then the number 10. So last month it was like June 23, I think. So this month it's give 10 and it'll take, it'll basically give free mem membership for your people. So I think I got them all. So, all righty. Guys, hi ho, here we go. I hope this was helpful. And thank you for popping on. You are welcome. All right. I'll see y'all soon. Every Monday, I'm going to be doing these. Okay. And then tomorrow through Friday, the Jewels are hosting hour long power hours. Okay. And we're going to be working on the win the day worksheet. Okay. And whatever else, whatever other tasks they deem as top priority. So make sure you pop on those. Remind your people. Thanks for popping on, guys. <laughs>